So when we look at division <laughs> patterns with decimals, it's going to look a lot like what we did with the multiplication patterns. And you're going to have situations where you have let's say 434 and 5 tenths. If I want to divide this by 10, my decimal is going to go which way? To the left or the right? Left, because I'm dividing by 10, okay? When I'm dividing by 10, my decimal is going to go to the left how many times? Once. So I'm just going to move it over one time and I have 43 and 45 hundredths. If I do the same number, divide it by 100, how many times am I going to move? Twice. Twice. Hop, hop, and I have 4 and 345 thousandths. And then if I took the same number and I divided it by 1,000, how many times am I going to move it now? Nope. Three zeros, three hops. <laughs> if I divided by 10,000, I would move it four times. If I divided by 100,000... Um, if there's gaps, yes. So she had a really good question. If I have, let's say I had four and five tenths divided by a thousand, she asked if I add zeros. So when I hop one, two, three, everywhere there's an empty spot gets a zero. You're absolutely right. You're just filling in zeros anywhere there's. What about if I did 2 divided by 100? How would I do that one? This is when they start looking really weird to you guys. You're not used to seeing a small number come first. What do I do on this one? And Zach? I'm going to just hop twice and it would be 200. So I add a decimal here, and then I'm going to move it two times and I put zeros in my empty spots just like that. So sometimes you're going to be dividing by 10 and just like our last unit I could also multiply times one-tenth. If I multiply times one-tenth I'm finding a tiny piece of a tiny piece. So same thing here. Multiply times one-tenth. It can be written either way. I'm just going to move it one spot to the left. If I multiply the same number times one-hundredth, I'm going to move it two spots. To the left, and you'll see it both ways. I multiply the same number times one thousandth, also written this way one, two, three. Add my decimal, add zeros if I need to, and I'm done. So when you are doing this, guys, it's just a matter of adding your decimal. If it's not there, filling in the empty spots, pretty easy stuff.